Oh, hi! <laughs> so, reporting live from the art room, Carol here. Um, we are going to do our shape cutting out today. There's a bunch of tools you will all need to know how to use, so I'm going to show you how to use them. Um, today's goal is to draw out your, your plan, then move right into cutting out your shapes and painting them or coloring them or whatever you want to do, um, and then glue the sticks. So you have two options. You have option one, which is using sticks to create the levels. You can see here I have one, two, three, four, five, six levels. That's probably an appropriate sculpture. Maybe you have five, maybe you have four, maybe you do eight. I don't know. That's up to your group's plan and what you get accomplished. So the one goal, though, is you want to start at the bottom. And the reason is is because then you'll find the balancing points for each when you um, attach them. So what I did here was I decided, based on my drawing, that this shape would be on the bottom, and that's this one, and I would have a little teeny shape on the other side to balance it out. Does anybody know what kind of balance this would be? I know, like look at all the APR students. Asymmetrical balance, people. <laughs> It's not exactly the same, but it's balanced out. All right? Okay. okay. So what you're going to do is to glue it is you're going to, if you have two levels, I found the easiest thing is literally to dip the stick into the glue a little bit, wipe the extra off, and I'm going to add it in there where I want it. I'm going to angle it just a little bit. Okay. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to just, so that it stays, you want to use the Elmer's glue because it's stronger, believe it or not, than the hot glue. The hot glue just sticks it right away. So you're going to use the Elmer's glue first, and then you can take some hot glue and add a dab of hot glue inside. Okay. Then hold it tight. Don't burn yourself like I just did. Um, hold it tight, and then you should be good. So right here, this is one level. So I hope this is more clear now that you see what a level is. Then you, so getting your shapes cut out and gluing to sticks. So I would do more, but I don't have to do that now. All right, so what are some awesome new tools that are gonna help you today? This thing, we only have one because I bought it. This was my zip snip. Very fancy zip snip. And what you can do with this is if you have a large shape that you want to cut out that has like some curves, this might take a long time with an X Acto blade. And also, it can make the edges rough. So, what you can do it has a safety blade, don't put your hands in front of it, is you literally. That's crazy. That's crazy. You literally follow the curve. Now, if it gets stuck, it might mean that you have to. No. You might want to cut a little snip off. All right. Then you can continue. It makes it a little easier. I'm going to go this way first. So that created a really nice. Oh, yeah. It had to be a fail somehow. Um, so these scissors work too, but they create yucky edges. So this thing is nice. Exacto blades work. You would cut it out. This is an example of using wire. So if we come over to this side right here, if you look, option B, if you don't want to use the sticks, is to use wire. And what you would do is you would have to find your hanging balancing point. So in your sketch, you're going to guess where that balancing point is. The ballot, they would be attached with wire, string, or fishing line, which is clear. That's what I'm going to use for this one. So I don't want to see. I want the space in between to be um, 
clear, so I would use this type of fishing line. And you would start at the bottom to make sure that the space in between the two shapes won't touch when they spin. So I'm gonna work on this and then you guys will see me in class um, progress with this one. But the main goal today, again, is to get your plan drawn out, then you know what you're doing. Then you start drawing your shapes onto the foam core and or mat board and cut them out and attach them to the sticks or, and then, oh, the balancing point. These little pokey thingies will help you find the balancing point. And I'll show you with a piece that's smaller, so it'll be easier. Is that balanced? Now it flopped over. Is that balanced? Yeah. Yes. So if I find a balancing point, I can use these little poke, these little, Tacks. Look, do you see the tacks in there? Wow, no, that's All right, so I found my balancing point and you would then punch the hole, which would be how you hang the piece later with the string, wire, whatever you want to use to attach the pieces. You got me? So I have a ton of these little pokey thingies, these little like balancing point finders that I made with cardboard. Very easy breezy. All right, so get this done today, and there's more things to show you, but that will be another time. No. All right. I'm just gonna get a drink. No.